establishing a route through, under and over the Severn estuary tested human ingenuity for centuries, up until 1966, when state investment paved the way for innovation and the bridge was built, creating a new link between England and Wales and opening up a wealth of opportunities. Mariana Mazzucato kicked off CityWire Southwest by talking about the lack of entrepreneurial flair in current state funding. The reason I call it the entrepreneurial state, um, as opposed to just say, you know, the innovative economy, is because to me, entrepreneurship is not just about setting up a company um, and, and the whole startup economy, um, but you know, the ability, willingness to take on risk and uncertainty. All the furore going on at the moment with the Royal Mail flotation that you have this scenario going on where the state is just there ready with money just to be picked off by the commercial world. The lessons have been learned that state ownership of some of these investments in terms of shares and, and actually getting some sort of capitalist mindset into the government that they should make returns is no bad thing for the taxpayer. Providing an in-depth analysis of CityWire's research into fund performance and investor sentiment was our own head of research, Jonathan Miller, who spoke about the dangers of using bond proxies as a bridge over troubled water. Bonds have been the winners in terms of flows and be mindful of alternative uses as it's clearly on the rise. Investors have been rewarded with their allocation in bonds given performance of high yield and convertibles. But this is a rush to equity proxies which don't offer compelling diversification nor the ballast fixed income is all about. It's a factor of looking at the fund manager performance against the fund itself. The overriding factor should really, in our mind, be the institution as much as anything else that you're looking to engage with for our clients. The fund manager, yes, their track record within that fund is important and their long-term career performance is as important, but the institution, the underlying institution, is really the bellwether for us to a large degree. So we, we favour managers that have had a long tenure within value investing. Um, and therefore, it's, it's all about the style of reports that we, that we generate and where they're exposed to within each sector. As the first day drew to a close, delegates were treated to an address by the unofficial German comedy ambassador to the UK, Henning Venn. Living in London, living in the UK, British people are always curious. They always want to find out, yeah? Why? doesn't Germany leave the euro? They always like, why doesn't Germany leave the euro? I see we have to bail out all the Greeks and Spaniards, Italians, all them as a basket cases. Eh? Why doesn't Germany leave the euro? Well, it's the same reason why London doesn't leave the pound sterling. Uh, despite financing everyone north of Watford. Uh, uh, come on, show some economic awareness, you're in that business. So, uh, <laughs> Delving even deeper into the mind of the investor was Paul Craven, behavioural economics consultant who claimed that people are not always as rational as they would like to believe they are. I'm always intrigued by this skill versus luck thing and, and how do you develop skill? Is it something you can just turn on? Uh, first of all, how do you define skill? Normally things like quality and consistency are two frequent themes in the definition. And then here's an interesting question. Can you deliberately lose or underperform whatever you're choosing to do? Because if you can deliberately lose, it must be more skillful. So take something like um, roulette, right? Pure luck on this continuum, pure luck. You can't deliberately lose there, you might win. Take the other end, something like chess, very, very skillful. Can you deliberately lose there? I'm sure you can, it'd be very easy to, to um, lose a game deliberately. And the point is, where do you sit on that continuum between pure luck and pure skill. Now, this is Michael Mabusen's chart. He thinks the industry is about here, down here. I, I, I think that's stupid. I think it's much closer to the centre. In terms of how we make money, how we invest money and everything else, I think there are some very good investors out there. And in fact, some of the best investors I've seen, I'm certain are actually nearer the skill end than the luck end. I think it's the, the question about how you know, good decisions or good outcomes come about, um, it, is, it does need to be look at, looked at forensically whether or not that is actually an element of luck that is actually disguised as skill 
or it really is skill? Now the answer surely would be in most cases there will be a, a, a bit of both and it's really on, on, on that continuum where you actually see them how far they are onto the skill side relative to the luck side. CityWire Southwest turned out to be something of a bullpen with 90% of delegates still positive on the prospects for equities. However, as always, balance is required. And with the traditional counterweights not delivering, innovation within the right framework can be the most effective way to bridge the gap between risk and reward.